we're here to see how we can make a dream catcher now so i'm really lucky where i've got a nice piece of really bendy um stick that doesn't snap trust me i had quite a few before i <laughs> found this miraculous one um so we need to obviously tie this together you could use sellotape um which would be quite easy i'm going to try and attempt to do this properly so we're going to go and create a um, clove hitch which if you haven't already done one for your um, camping skills please look at the tp um, option that will show you how to do a nice clove hitch properly okay so i create a clove hitch to start with i'm then going to get my extra bit of stick to attach here and then we are literally going to go and wrap this round so it's going to take me a little while i think in order to do this um, so I'm going to try and do this nice and quickly. Um, you guys could obviously do this much simpler um, and take more time over it. I'm just scrolling up my wool a bit so that I can get it in and out. Or I say wool, I've used string here. Um, but obviously you guys could use wool. Um, but the idea is that as we attach this together, it's going to just bring that round like so. So that we are able to complete one circuit round now the idea of these dream catchers was that literally it catches your good dreams and makes them go down towards you um, so you can have lovely dreams and then the idea is is that as we patch this round we create a little hole in the middle and that is the dream that we don't want so that's our bad dreams so it lets our bad dreams disappear okay is the idea behind it so what we're then doing from here is you're going to go across to a patch that you think is suitable and then we're creating what's called a hitch which is literally where you wrap it around like so and then you go to another area okay so all you're doing is essentially creating a loop round so i don't know if you can see that so we're just going round on there and then creating that they call this a hitch okay and then i'm doing it on this one four so we're wrapping it around like so going around again so it's just to secure that in place and then we're going to go across here so we're creating already a slight pattern here okay so this is where it gets a bit trickier because i've now got to slot my way through here which it's not going to allow so i'm going to suggest whoop, that you grab an arm's length of string or wool that you happen to have at home she says and then you cut it so that we're not secure anymore to our big bit so the idea is now that i can go in here and through here so what we're going to do is is essentially we, we've created a square sorry we've created a square and we're now going to create another square from the middle here okay so we wrap that around again like so all right, and then we're aiming to go for the middle part that's over here between this line that we created earlier. All right, so again, we're wrapping it round. I'm really sorry, my fingers are probably in the way here, aren't they? I'm trying not to, but I appreciate that's not brilliant. Okay, so again, we're going into the middle one here. So as you can see already, we're sort of creating a nice little star pattern. So remember, you wrap that around you're coming through twice and then holding it in place like so and then obviously this last one here is where we wrap it around our big bit so again make sure you pull this bit here nice and tight so that we create that loop okay so that's how we've got it so far now what we should then be able to do here is we're going to start crisscrossing it again but this time we're going to go for the middle parts that we've got here so we're going to pull around here and we don't change any difference here we're going around again okay and then from there we're going to this one here okay you can see it that one there and as you wrap it round remember we're going around twice okay and we can pull these and start pulling them out okay so this time we're going to this one here sorry guys so we're going looping this round okay so that was my first one that i done and again we're going it we always do it around twice 
like so okay and then we get to pull i think on we're going to go for this one here okay now the idea is is that you keep going in and in and it's almost like we're creating a bit of a spider's web really in terms of to keep going in so the idea is is that we keep creating a nice pretty pattern and if you want to create it so it's smaller you can do so and you can do that by doing more of these at the starting point okay so we had eight to start with but you could obviously go and do a lot smaller like say so. um where am i going to go from there we're going to go to that one there pull in so i've wrapped it around once i need to do it again to make it two like so and then to finish it you probably just want to sort of weave it in and out and go to an outside point okay and then the magic here is if you can to do a clove hitch so remember that you are going around the front you cross over and then you're coming up behind like say And then where you've got your cross, you should then be able to, which the bit you've just wrapped around, you pick up like so, and then put your end of your rope, she says, through the middle, into there. And that creates that one. Now, if you don't have any strigs that are bendy enough, because trust me, I, I, I picked quite a few before I got to this level where I could actually have that, okay? Um, then um what i would suggest you do is that you use like a paper plate and if you've got a hole puncher you um, create some holes around the edge and again you can loop that round and keep going around with those i will show you some of those in our pictures and images when we put them up okay um but with this gene catcher here then i've got the end there and of course here this is where i want you guys to get quite creative with me okay um you need to be adding some beads or you can add feathers or anything that you've got that's nice and colorful and creative that you can hang off the end now i haven't necessarily got what i call lots of beads so another way of doing it is to get a straw and I'm quite lucky where I've got one here that I've got three different colours that I can use. Okay. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip them. And depending on how big you want to go. So be careful with this because straws like to fly off when they do these sort of things. All right. So again, you can create that like so. And then you can basically put one of your straws on the end oh she says i'm not able to do this <laughs> like say so, like that and again just doing a granny knot at the bottom should be sufficient if you're worried and you don't think that's a big enough knot okay you can obviously double it over again a little bit um like that um and essentially like that you can dangle that off now the idea is behind these ones is that you usually would have three or four different types of these okay so um i'm going to use up some more of my string that i've got okay and i'm gonna thread that through now i can happily attach these using a reef knot so remember we're going left over right and tying it up and if i go quite close to where i've already got my other one like that so that was left over right and then we're going right over left like so and creating a nice knot okay so that'll attach that there now obviously those are a bit bigger so you want them slightly different lengths but not too many different lengths okay and again snip the ends that you don't need again i can use these because i want to create quite a few of these going along okay so you probably want about three or four or five of these that hang down so this time i can obviously use a clove hitch to secure the ones that i haven't got too many of um so again we go behind and if i'm really lucky i can push that up through like so and pull it nice and tight like that 
and I've got a clove hitch one that lays there okay I always like to think of even numbers or odd numbers make the perfect um, symmetry to look at okay so you want to either be doing three five or seven okay try not to make them even numbers and again this one folds over to this one and it is again please guys use up what you've got at home okay don't go out and buy anything special for this but if you're able to um, get some of this from the shops um, I guess it's ideal but you don't have to okay we're not expecting you to go out and buy stuff for this it is literally use what you've got at home okay and after all our big lockdown you've probably got more stuff than you ever had before <laughs> but anyway I've created these downside bits so the more creative you are with these the better okay um they often will use lots of nice colored beads or feathers feathers is um very much a prime one with the native americans again it's sort of them seen as birds of prey are protective their peace um and things like that so with these feathers they often also think that these like to do it but the idea is is that your bad dream goes through the middle your good dreams are caught and then they come down here and flutter through and you would have this above you and when, when you sleep so that the good dreams enter you and then lastly the only thing you need to do is create a little loop that obviously you could hide it with so you don't need anything more than about 30 centimeters in length maybe not even that okay and literally you could attach that through the loop there and then I always do what we call a double granny so you attach both of these together turn it around and through like that but there would be nothing stopping you doing that as a reef knot as well if you wanted to okay and then when you pull that taut like so, you could hang it. Well, hey, and there's my little dream catcher. Again, I look forward to all your creations because you cubs have probably got better imaginations than me and can be far more creative as well. All right, so there's a lovely dream catcher.